All right, guys, let's talk about a knife that I don't quite understand. <laughs> um, this was loaned in from Alex over at Alex's, Alex's Knives and Such channel. I'll put a link to his uh, channel down below. And again, guys, this is total budget knife. This is like $12.99 right now. Um, I just looked at looked it up on the Cold Steel website, actually. Um, it's a decent size. It's rather a large knife. It's a classic African style ring lock knife. And that's the part I just don't understand or get really. I'm not, I didn't do a lot of research, but it just, to me, right off the top of my head, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess you could put some keys on here, but I don't think that's the purpose. And we'll get, yeah, well, we'll just show the lock, right? For those of you that are unfamiliar, as I was before I kind of got this in. So it's like a slip joint. It has a lot of stops before it locks. It, it, it's not a slip joint, obviously. But the ring lock here is what locks it in place. So there's a nub on the blade that drops into this hole here to keep it from closing. Okay, if I can get it in front of the camera. Um, super high mirror polished blade. So every time you open it, you get fingerprints, which I don't like that at all on any of my knives. Um, plus it kind of makes it hard to record because you see the camera up there and all of that stuff. So I don't really like that either. So to unlock it, you have to pull this ring and hold it kind of awkward. It's just like you kind of have to pull the ring and push the blade at the same time. I just, I don't know. That's how I figured out how to do it. I don't know if there's other better ways. And then it has a bunch of stops before it closes. No pocket clip. No, not a, I guess you just throw it in your pocket. I don't know. It's weird to me. So anybody that is familiar with the ring locks, carries a ring lock, uses a ring lock, can you please comment down below as to what the intended purpose really is? Because it's just, I just don't get it. Maybe this was way before there was frame locks and liner locks and all of that. And this was kind of, an earlier iteration of a locking knife and we've evolved from that and we're still holding on to some classics maybe i don't know guys i don't know everything i know a little bit about the stuff that i'm super into the stuff i'm not into i don't know much about so again that's why i run a channel so that i can show lots of different knives and learn about a lot of different knives okay now, before anybody asks also, I've gotten a lot of comments about adding, adding some tattoo work lately. Okay, I finished this one several months ago. The whole left sleeve is done. And yesterday, at the time of the filming, I did start on the right sleeve. So, if you are interested in seeing this sort of stuff, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, because I post a lot of those pictures and stuff there. Um, there's links down below to Instagram, um, and Facebook is just my name. So go follow me there and you can see all the memes I post, all of the, uh, tattoo stuff. I post some other stuff there than just on YouTube. Uh, so there you go. Cause I've had people comment about it and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, go check me out on, on Instagram. All right. So let's talk about this knife now It's 12 bucks. It's five and five eighths closed, nine and three quarters overall, 4.23 inch blade with a 4.05 cutting edge. The blade steel is 5CR15MOV. Uh, blade thickness is 0 0.096, 0 0.489 overall thickness, and it runs on phosphor bronze washers and weighs in at just 2.8 ounces. So it is super light. The blade is very long, very thin. So it's got some flex to the blade. And that's not just flex at the handle. That is just flex of the blade. 
again, I just don't get it. I don't know. I mean, it's a cool looking knife. It has a Zyx handle material, a plastic resin reinforced something or other with like a bark, a wood bark tree type finish to it. Okay. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It is fairly comfortable in the hand. If I zoom back out, it is fairly comfortable. The ring gets in the way a little bit for me and my taste, and it's not a lot of grip. Like, you wouldn't use this for anything hard. I, I don't know what the intended purpose for this specific knife is. It's just not solid enough to do some real work. You could get in and do some cutting, and it does give you some reach, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of weird. So let me wipe off my fingerprints there a little bit and give you a couple of size comparisons before we wrap this up. With the number two pencil and the Sharpie, the D battery and the double A battery. I think I said that kind of wrong. It's the D battery and the double A, but you guys get it. The Spider Codelica. And for a little bit more than the $12, you got your 48, I think, in this blacked out configuration, the Kubi KB237. Just to kind of give you some ideas. Uh, so Alex, thanks for loaning this in. It's very cool. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't quite understand this specific knife, and I don't understand the ring lock at all. So please, if somebody can fill me in on the practicalities of the ring lock, that would be awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to come back tomorrow because there's more cool stuff. Thanks, all.